What's going on, everybody? You're back with Shades. We're going to continue our Let's Play of, of Katawa Shoujo. Last time we left off, uh, <laughs> we were sitting on our back um, on the rooftop with Rin. And then Emmy showed up, and I was like, let's end the park here. But yeah, we were talking about like going outside and taking a walk and enjoying the quiet and silence. And I was like, yeah, that's my jam. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? Emmy's voice is scandalized, but she quickly takes a step backward, pressing her hands against the front of her skirt so abruptly that the parcels of bread she was carrying fall. I quickly avert my eyes and glance angrily at Rin. She pretends not to see me. And there's the anime trope of, oh my god, don't look at my panties! I mean, yes, it's a bad thing to do, but also, it should be, it should be known. It should be, like, like, oh, it should, it's not okay, but whatever. He said it wasn't like that, right? Right. Emmy scowls at Rin and crouches down to pick up the packages. She wipes the dust off and then skips lively around me to Rin's other side where she sets herself down. Anyway, here's your bread. Sorry it took a while. It's alright. Thanks for treating me. I pull myself into a seating position and gratefully accept the bread Emmy is offering. All three of us ravenously dig into the simple meal. The bread is surprisingly decent and readily fills my stomach. I follow from the corner of my eye the skill with which Rin handles her bread between her feet. I haven't seen you on the track in a few days. Alright, oh, I figured it was a too heavy routine for me to start with. So you've been doing something else? I've been considering my options. She frowns but doesn't pursue the issue further, for which I'm thankful. Emmy seems pretty headstrong that it, and I wouldn't really want to get past her by, about this on a daily basis. I have enough burdens to bear with she's named Misha already. We barely finish the lunch before the bell rings, calling us back to our classrooms. Like I said, a walk is a good enough is good enough exercise for someone with a weak heart. Fifteen minute walk, good cardio. Hicha. Misha waves at me as soon as I enter and starts talking to me before I even make my way across the classroom. How was your festival? Did you have fun? Um, still somewhat decided on that. I'd say probably. Why? <laughs> just asking. Just asking. Her eyes glint in a way that tells me that she's not just asking. I can't even start to guess her motives, though. As the well-timed entrance of the English of as, as the well-timed entrance of the English teacher prevents us from taking taking talking further. Wow, my English is bad today. Misha falls back to Plan B. I was there all. <laughs> I was there all day with. I wouldn't know what she's nice name sign would be. With she Chan. I spelled it wrong with my hand spelling, but whatever. We had a lot of fun. I'm not sure. It's because it's Shizne. Like I, I forget what fun is. This is funny. Mm, I don't remember. Weren't you supposed to be doing work? I forget what worry is, too. My vocabulary is really bad. <laughs> Even my grammar is awful, really. Don't worry, everything went really well. I don't reply to that, and she leaves me alone after she is made demands her attention. My own attention, on the other hand, is directed toward the window. Now that I look in from here, the w through the window and the foliage just outside, the sky seems smaller. I catch only small glimpses of blue. Everything else is a clutter of noise right in the middle of my field of vision. What experience did Rin want out of staring at the sky? Surely she's done it before, everyone has. It's no use trying to guess her mind, but if I don't do that, then I have no excuse for not concentrating on the teacher's words. I look at the scribbles appearing on the blackboard, trying to figure out their meaning with little success. English really is not my favorite subject. We have a strong mutual dislike for each other. <laughs> to be fair, English is a very complicated language. Why is it Arkansas and not Arkansas? America, explain. Thick hot afternoon light invades the corridor, making the air feel heavy and lazy. My body feels weighed down by it as I drag t t two doors down the hallway to the art classroom. Maybe this is part of the reason why I didn't join any clubs before. Afternoons just aren't suited for the activity. <laughs> uh, I wish I could agree, but I loved the club that I joined in uh, college. I, I joined a, like two clubs, mainly. One I didn't like as much as the other. For personal reasons. Um, but the other club I love so much, I joined the e the executive board, uh, and then I joined, and then I became president, 
And then now I am no longer on the board because I'm pre once you hit presidency, where are you gonna go from there? Uh, but then like I'm just like I'm just gonna be here and like I, I don't participate as much as I can because I commute now on their and their meeting days are when I'm not on campus. Like if they were on, were when I was on campus, I'd be like oh, I'll be there. But uh, now I'm just like I'll be at the events and I see you guys regularly on campus anyway. But I really miss the concept of meeting new members. I haven't met any of the new members. I met one of them. And it's only because they're friends with uh, the younger the younger members of my group. And I'm just like, Ugh. I miss meeting new members, man. I miss that. Shit. <laughs> I knock on the door of the art room and open it. A girl who's possibly doing something important with a scroll of paper she's carrying turns to reckon me. And I smiles in a sweet, if not a bit confused manner. What's wrong with you? I don't see what's wrong with you. I think you might be blind. You're missing an ear. And I can't tell what's wrong with you. <laughs> Yet, anyway. Then she turns and she's missing an eye. <laughs> Hello? This is the art club, right? Yep, you interested in joining? Yeah, in fact, I might have already done so, but we'll see. I give her a weak smile and hers, her own widens a notch, making me feel less nervous. Great, have a seat then. We'll start when the teacher gets here. Oh wait, I just remembered that like um they did say that like like non handicap uh students go here, so uh handicap. Is that offensive? I'm not sure. Disabled is offensive, I know that. Goddamn son, go away. Without even scanning the room for a good spot, I quickly walked to the back of the room, settled myself on a free seat apart from everyone else. There it is. A few other members are lounging in the seats, waiting for the teacher. Rin sits alone in the window seat, looking outside. She's the only person here that I know, although a guy I've never really gotten along with from my class is here too. Nobody else comes to greet me. Maybe introductions are left for later, so I just settle for a silent observation as well. One boy sunglasses on, an odd sight indoors. An odd sight indoors. Were we not Yamaku? I bet he'll. He's the blind student Rin was talking about. The wait proves to be extremely short. Oh, him! I remember you. No Nomiya walks over to stand behind his desk in three long strides and gives a smile and a flamboyant greeting. Good afternoon, everyone. I forget the voice I gave him. I'm sorry. First things first, he saw is that a new member. Everyone get along with him. He winks at me unsettlingly. All eight members of the club, including myself, answer his greeting with considerably less enthusiasm. Still, people finally straighten up in their seats and begin to pro pay attention. I think some of you still have projects to work on, so please continue with those if you like. As for the rest, I was thinking that today we could do some rough studies. How does that sound? Nobody answers except with un some unintelligible murmurs, which Nomiya apparently interprets as a unanimous approval. Alright then, everyone not working on other projects, choose a partner and draw a sketch of one another. You should be able to complete this today, but if not, we can continue it next time, or even do it again if you find it interesting. Remember to pay attention to lighting and shadow and give it your best. Uh, if I remember correctly, studies are like the appearance and using it to like, and try to replicate it perfectly. Because like you have to like match the lighting and um, the contour and the shadowing and the shading. I don't know, pairing up. I feel awkward about it, but hardly knowing anyone here. I wish someone would ask me to be their partner. People stand up and move their chairs closer together, but nobody comes to me. Well, duh, you're the new kid. Pretty soon everyone else is paired off. Friends team up with each other, but I'm left alone. Well, there is Rin. She's sitting in the furthest corner of the room, still staring out the window and seemingly uninterested in taking part in the exercise. Since she's the only other one without a partner, I walk to her seat. I can't see her face because her hair is covering most of it and she's looking away from me. Rin? I call out to her. No response. Hey, want to partner up? You're the only one I know here. She seems to finally acknowledge my presence, head turning it like a robot as she looks to see who's addressing her. Rin doesn't answer, but I don't, I don't want to repeat the question either. I'm sure she heard it the first time. Why doesn't she say anything? It can't be an awful fate to be paired up with me, can it? She doesn't look at my face and instead stares directly at my chest and stomach. Oh, okay. Why not? Okay, good. Great. They'll get the stuff for us. Oh my god, the sun's shining. It was cloudy earlier. Ah! Lighting, please. Lamps become stronger. It's not helping. <laughs> Looking at the equipment Novmia has prepared for the day's meeting confuses me. Instead of graphite or pencils, we're apparently supposed to do ink sketches. I've never done anything like this before. The teacher, however, seems confident in my abilities to adapt to this medium. 
Simple! First, you do outlines and ink. You let them dry, then you shade with the diluted ink. It's called India ink. It works with like watercolors. If you're uncomfortable with it, then use a pen instead of a brush for the outlines. Got it. I remember I took an art class in middle school. Um, and, uh, like... By the way, that's 6th that's to 8th uh, year. Um, uh, and uh, we had an art teacher there. And she was super enthusiastic about art. And whenever kids, whenever the kids would get creative. And that was a class where I, I made like a whole bunch of artwork. Um, and to be honest, I, I, I cared not a lick for art. to be Visual art anyway. To be freaking um, uh, honest. And uh, I would just do things at random. In fact, I have one of my art pieces still here. <laughs> Let me get that. Oh, come on. I forgot it's broken. Uh, oh, shit. Mm. Like, this wooden sculpture here. Like, I would, like, it's it's broken now because the hot glue has since deteriorated. Um, but uh, I literally just, like, did random shit. And there's, like, this one that looks like a D because my last name starts with D. And, like, I would just randomly paint things. And, like, she would just be, like, so excited. Let me put this back. And our teacher, she would just get so excited. Um, and, like, uh, like be like, wow, Kyle, that looks great. And I'm like, really? It looks like random mod podge of bullshit. But then again, now that I look at it again, I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. It looks actually interesting. Like... She, yeah, it's painted really shittily, but then again, it was painted by a kid with no skill and never practiced that skill. I, I made a whole bunch of other crap, but uh, I think one's in the basement right now, and uh, huh. I don't even remember where all of them are. I, I, that was one of the ones I made. Um, there's, a, there's one, like, downstairs. Oh, God, I want to bring them up. Thanks, friend, for making me relive my art days in middle school. I'll be right back. And here's another one. Yeah, like, it's just these weird sculptures that I made. And, like, to be honest, uh, it's, this is not, this was not as hard to make as it looks. Um, it's actually a pantyhoe, uh, uh, done, put over a wire, uh, thing that I shaped. There was, like, a, like a wire thing, like, 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 arched over in a cross fashion, and then, like, I shaped it, put the pantyhoe over, and then I painted it in, uh, Mod Podge, I think was what it was called. It's basically a substance that was, like, white and, like, had the consistency of glue. And I painted it over it, let it harden, and then I painted over that. Um, like, that's what it was. And to be honest, looking at this now, I'm like, I did pretty alright. Like, I just, like, took random colors, took random sections of it that felt flat, and then just painted. Like, like, look at this, look at this. I made this as a 13-year-old. Looking back on it, I'm like, yeah, it's still, it's still crap. It's still crap. But, uh, like, it's interesting. Uh, I did some origami stuff, too, just because I thought it was cool. I made this giant, like, flower arrangement type thing. Um, and, uh, like, it unfortunately fell apart when I took it home. Which is a shame, really. Like, it's such a shame. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> I have it. This thingy. Uh, this is one of the last things uh, I made in that class because uh, um, our classes were split up into four marking periods and uh, there were like three electives that you could have that were like chosen for you. There was music, there was like, uh, no, actually there's a lot of them. Uh, and like in middle school, they you would just switch every now and then. Sorry, I ran to get this so I wasn't wasting time. <laughs> but um... <laughs> Um, this one, uh, I made, was one of the last ones because, uh, you had, like, uh, throughout your, in my last year of middle school, we had one elective for per marking period, and then, um, cause, like, they were split up based on your year, um, and then, like, I had art, music, and I think, wo like, woodshop, woodshop, I think, and, uh, and then, uh, like, the last one, cause we were, it was the last year, we got to pick. Um, and then I was like, I'm picking art. Because it was the easiest one. Uh, I could literally do whatever I wanted, so long as it was art related. And, uh, the teacher was really nice. And a bunch of my friends chose it too, at the same time. Uh, God, why is my lighting changing? Because of that. Because of that thing. 
But, uh, like, I made this. Like, she just gave me a book of, like, here's some craft stuff that you could probably do. And I'm like, okay, I'll take a look at it. And then I saw this, and it was like, you, you, each one of these flowers is an individual thing that I had to make. And then I had to hot glue them together, and then hot glue each of the individual flowers together to, in this circular fashion. Unfortunately, one of the flowers is broken back here. Um, and all the petals have, si have since been, like, crumpled up, and it's been left in my basement. And, like, it's such a shame that, like... Because I don't remember how to make this. I don't remember. Like... I think the folding was fairly complicated. Like, I don't remember how to make this at all. And some of them are, like, misshapen petals. And, like, this hot glue sticking out over... It still smells like hot glue. God, this is such a blast from the past. Anyway, I'm gonna put this away now. But yeah, that was uh, my my last inklings of um, art in my life. It's been a really long time since I've uh, done anything like art related. Uh, but yeah, those were good times. I, I, it's, just, it's good to go down memory lane just because like I used to look at that thing every day and I'm like, huh. I, rem I don't even remember what it originally looked like because uh, as time passed, the, the, the hot glue just... Uh, didn't work anymore because it's wood it's 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 it it doesn't work well with the hot glue so like after a while pieces pieces kept falling off uh and like i just I, at the time i just never put it back and now, now i'm looking at it and i'm like i really wonder what it looked like originally because god <laughs> oh well I, I pick up paper water cups one pen for me one brush for rin and ink bo for both of us and then return to rin Grabbing a vacated chair from nearby, I seat myself directly opposite her. Do you want me to do it with my foot or my mouth? What did you say? <laughs> I know what that means. It means two things. She tilts her head and her brows forming question ar questioning arches as, she's, as if she doesn't understand that I didn't understand the question. I don't mind drawing either way. You'll look better if I do it with my foot though. With your foot then, if it's all the same to you. Nodding an answer, Rin gets up from her seat and kicks off her sandals. In two fluid motions, she picks up the paper sheet and drops it on the floor, then snatches the brush between her toes before sitting on the floor in a weird half cross legged position. Although I've seen her do everything with her feet already, from eating to painting, this, this display of dexterity is so prestigious that I just stare at her stunned. Rin contemplates her blank stare intently. The sharp tip of her brush hovers over the paper in anticipation. When she raises her head to see if I'm ready, I quickly turn my face away. I'll go first, make a pose. What kind of pose? Doesn't matter, that's the point. You have to make the sketch of the impression you get, not decide beforehand. I end up just sitting in my chair, hands hanging limply between my knees. I look at her and she looks at me for a moment before beginning. Rin's stare is, Rin stare is piercing but impassive, as if she were trying to absorb a part of me into her own self. I feel like I'm physically shrieking under the pressure of her gaze. Eh, I mean, that's kind of art in, in a nutshell. Especially what we're doing is still art. By the way, for all my art people out there, do still lifes. Uh, I can't say this from personal experience, but from what I've seen of people who draw mainly people, still lifes are a really good way of learning how to draw people and make sure they're anatomically correct. Like, I get, like, uh, I get that people have been self-taught and then, like, learn an anatomy just by, like, practicing constantly and learning how what looks right on a, on, a hu on a human body. But to be honest, still lifes is probably the best way to do it. Because, like... It's just, there's so many pretentious people that just go like, Oh, I don't need to take classes. I, I've been doing this for years. Like, no, you need to, you need to take classes. Because there's a lot of things you don't know. There's a lot of things I don't know. There's like, 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 even this platform itself, like, learning about it. Like, it was hard. Like, I, like, now I know how to do a light setup. Do camera and video separately. Do audio separately. I know how to do all of that. And it's a good thing to learn. Anyway. I get to think that for the first time since we met, Rin is look, actually looking at me instead of at my general direction. She sketches with confident, bold swipes of the delicate brush, not caring about the potentially destructive consequences of an accidentally misplaced stroke. After she's happy with the outline, she stands up to pose for me, stretching her back and legs. This time she doesn't look at me, instead, Rin lets her gaze wander around the room. Uh, I'm relieved it's easier to stare at someone when they aren't staring back at you. Even so, I find it hard to get the sketch going. 
I'm especially, I'm not especially artistically talented, so I'm scared my portrait will turn into something disfigured, especially when compared to my partner's skill. I don't want to embarrass myself too badly on the first try. Rin is not helping the process either. She doesn't stand still for even 10 seconds, tilting her head from side to side, judging her drawing, biting on her lower lip, looking unsatisfied and constantly shuffling around like she was on hot coals. I finally managed to make some headway on my sketch. With outlines done, we both start inking in the shadow and light. Nomiya passes by and remarks on the beginning of our sketches. Very good! Standing figure is easier for a beginner to get the grasp of. But I didn't choose the pose. I look at him and then Rin in confusion, but he's already moving on to the next pair, and Rin seems unresponsive. Just like when she was painting the mural, Rin has become so engrossed with her work that it seems she has shut me, the classroom and the entire world itself out from her own little sphere of existence. Every now and then she leans backwards, seemingly to get some perspective. Sometimes she bends forward, leaning down until her nose almost touches the paper. This rocking back and forth looks silly. Suddenly, Rin proves she hasn't completely drifted off into a world of her own and speaks. Are you having fun already? <clears throat> she doesn't raise her eyes from the drawing, which is a good thing. The breaking of the silence sends a jolt of surprise through me, as if I've been electrocuted. I don't know yet. It's hard to say. I can't hear how she replies to my answer because it seems that she's suddenly having a private whispered conversation with her sketch. I don't understand how she can draw so well when she has the attention span of a butterfly. As it seems she's lost her interest, I go back to working on my drawing as well. I try to add texture to Rin's hair somehow the way, somehow, to somehow grasp the way the golden afternoon sun lights her bright red tussle aflame and transfer to my paper in shades of black and gray. Somehow this pen and bottle of ink seem such a lousy and adequate tool for the task. Minutes pass, but the sketch doesn't look magically like any more like Grin than it did before. Her voice wakes me up from my despair. What about now? Excuse me? Are you having fun already? Why do you keep asking that? Because it's a club, right? Clubs are meant to be fun. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Because it's a club, right? Clubs are meant to be fun. You join to have fun. Are you having fun? Is it important that I'm having fun? Yes. Okay, I'm having fun. Good. I wonder if I said that just to please her or if I really meant it. I can't really decide which is which it was. I don't hate this though. I can't honestly say that much. It's good enough for now. And it's also a good place to stop. Uh, but no, honestly, like adding my again my two cents into this. Um, Art doesn't feel like fun when you're making it. It's fun when you get to look back at it. Uh, making those wasn't as fun as I thought. Um, like, even the origami stuff, it wasn't that fun. But when I'm done and I look at the finished product, I'm like, yeah, that was worth it. But yeah, that's my strict. It's also the same when I make these videos. Like, I hate editing. I hate it a lot. But when I'm done and I look at the video, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's okay. I, I did my best on that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me from this series, hit the subscribe button. And you're not exiting the Shadyverse. My name is Shades, and I hope you've enjoyed your day in the shade. See you guys next time. Bye.